Roots are but a fraction of what is traded. Tales, news, prayer, all are bartered freely around the stones. You may want to build these a little way off. Noisome creatures tend to roost in the branches. Ours is a temperate way of life. We would rather warm Ready for a challenge. You come from a faraway land, do you not? One final look. You reach a new milestone. Anything else? Then I'll send it out. Wetatuni here is in need of a tutor. Agreed, Wetatuni? Let us see how you will go about it. I don't have all I need for my cat. Strange novelties brought from your travels? We see eye to eye. Ship constructed. No bitter end in sight. Trying creature to herd, but so bountiful in its gifts. These faithful lands exist after all. Milestone. To the edge of the world. 
Water, much like people, is a primal force. But with willpower, with intent, it can be exalted for the good of all. Water is scarce in this region of Embesa, but Binyam and I have been working on a system. moves me to see our system at work. Ours is a culture of growing and nurturing. Water, the key to bringing Enbeza together. Traditionally, shepherds weave their own garments. They need linseed, and linseed needs water. It is my hope that all young people will in time come to Tabarim to learn these crafts. Prevent any risk of fire. Tapestries are unfortunately quite flammable. Mind you ensure your fire station can readily access the channeled water. Just like me, they like to go. Down. Everyone is going to be so relieved. How they dance and sing. This is a legacy I would hand my people. A land of song and joy. This land you come from, I would know more of it. Brave people these, who will stay the devouring flames. Had to break it all. She couldn't appreciate how important plants are for our culture. We're counting on you. will invite them to the dance. How interesting. Certainly this should help prime me for diplomacy with your rulers. Binyam tells me your lands hold many strange wonders. Would you care to enlighten me? I confess, I had expected greater eccentricity. <laughs> Perhaps we are not so different after all. 
No pressure at all, but we could use the help. That, that'll help immensely. Good and ready. No commander is blameless when their soldier fails, I suppose. Awaiting new horizons. token of appreciation. I have need of your advice to select an architect for a project I have been mulling over. Hmm. A dear and amiable bunch, but their work is small fry. There is a matter I would discuss with you, pertaining to the Empire at large. Talented, no doubt, but their experience too specific. Their projects lacking scope. Root plotted. We're missing materials. There is tea by the door if you want it. The city is starting to look.
It's all prepared. A fire broke up. Extensive knowledge. Demonstrable skills? Yes. This consortium have concepted the perfect I'm prototype to become the research institute. Many breeds of cattle roam in Beza, but the Sangha is best known and beloved by all. Not so long ago were the salt mines worked by thralls of the warring princes. I hope now they will stand for something better. Pleasingly chewy, isn't it? It may take a little getting used to for foreigners, as with many of our dishes. The last tiles are inlaid, the drapes hung fantastical. Throw open the palace doors! It is not in vain the Almighty sends us dreams, but one mustn't forget the needs of those who live. My people will travel far to tend to their duties. Thus, our food is often wayful, salt cured. In Besa stretches from Horai. Seek the heralds of Angareb in the Meridian and of Kidusi and Itoni and Wahadesha in the September. Convince them we are better united. Wahadesha. Once a land of bountiful wonders, torn apart by countless wars. Wahadesha expects a deliverance. Take it to them, and in so doing, learn of their troubles. I once desired for Wahadesha to blossom anew. The pirates of Angare deem themselves princes. They are right. But Kidusi's. Why teach virtue and you? A time will come when we confront those who oppose in Beza. But first, we must tend to those who petition us daily for succor. What we lack, the Lord provides for. So, his will is done. Providing chaperone. On our way.
I would greet our guest with a worthy gift, a comprehensive chronicle of our great land, the Epic of Lions. Come find me to discuss compiling. Let us not tarry then. A fine scholar has recently returned. Cheers, man. On our way. Welcome, Kefta. What Awaiting brings you? New horizons. I would welcome you better, but even the patient Jat has deserted our island. A new commission? Wahadesha is old. Some of his beauty yet survives. Follow Eber. He will show you. task? Well-intentioned, I'm sure, but I spent years studying this exceedingly complicated subject at Harvard College. It is hardly an easy task. The college was nice. It is Harvard, but the people of Vespuccia were indisposed by my chroma, if you know what I mean. So I left, and more's the loss for them. All good research papers start in a library, preferably a palatial library. The priests will grant you access, perhaps, I hope. The library is restricted to servants of the Lord. The texts here are holy scripture, guarded from unsanctioned influence. But, as you are working on the Chronicles, you may enter if you answer this reader. On quiet mirrors I lay, never sinking. Yet dipped in water, I am fit for drinking. The library is restricted to servants of the law. Just say the word. The texts here are holy scripture, guarded from unsanctioned influence. The hibiscus flower is the image of what we seek. Here in Kidusi and Itoni, knowledge nourishes us that we may bloom in the eyes of the Lord. One must learn to see with the inner eye, the eye of the soul. Tell me, which of the buildings on our island is largest? Now it is interred deep below our island. But to those who know, the high walls and pale altars live on all around us. Your understanding is starting to blossom. The time for admittance is at hand. Loyalty to Lord Ketema does you credit. But we will not join him. He is too narrow in his faith. And I will not see Kidusi's legacy forgotten. You show yourself to be worthy of trust. Lift 
now the veil and enter our famed library. Hmm, resourceful, aren't you? Very well, let's get to it. All great nations spring from a golden age, a time of splendor and legend. The books are over there. There are volumes here on every aspect of theology, history, science, or poetics. If you read, please turn the pages by their corners. A fellow scholar of the Golden Age. There is much we could discuss. History becomes legend. Legend. Quite right. Archaeology is the queen of all disciplines. Go, dig, dust, douse. The evidence should be enough to complete this first fragmentary chapter. Unfurl the sail. You are accustomed to such undertakings. Gather a crew and supplies, and we will support you. The whole of Wahadesha stretches from here, land and law. Ask your question, Shema, and I will answer. The Pa Itaru has stood mysterious for millennia. The Waha water is impure. Long ago, there was beauty here. But now it is dust solid and scorpion touched. When the sun first rose, the gods blessed the island soil. On that land, who is he is? Eldest and tallest, the memory tree. Strangers built this camp. Floods no longer. It is time for guard duty by the major. Where Lord Ketema's provisions are stored. I leave you, Hababa. Hmm. Unsurprising. The people of Tabarin are wayward having forgotten the ways of old. Our people know much. Talk to them and learn. If dismayed by our speech, come find me. Awaiting new horizons. and ready. I would like you to visit by the Lord's will then. Ah, there lies King Wag. That inscription. Just say the word. One of his wiser sayings. Shedjet, a water well. Time clogged and lily logged, but hope for water still. There was fighting here long ago. Kashtan forces fled, bloodied by Ketema's host. Now only ruins, memory haunted. The waters of my patience are running dry. Resources are thin. 
Any help you could send would be appreciated. Ruth Plotnik? We cannot accommodate so many. We shall need temporary quarters for these workers. The Munfos will do. Everything will be a portion. So, wow. perhaps next time you will include some of that adventure fiction. I need permission. Water below, you say? Then we must bring it forth at once. Let us not tarry then. Come into the courtyard no where there is fresh coffee. Change must come to Wahadesha. Our patience and charity grow thin. They will adapt or be abandoned. Shed yet been found, then Ketema sent aid. A lord most trustworthy and care given. The land is no longer used to water. It needs Isayets to ward the threat of the wak, a water curse. The Isayets of the Wasi died long ago, but there may be some on other islands, by deep waters and cool waters. peoples as you. The waters of my patience, it does not do to this.
Now for the final note. Isiets, you say? <laughs> what is a small contribution to the Lord's plans? The brother. Shall it be? All hands at the ready. Is that all? We are close to clearing the last of the rubble. Now comes the time to plant the Isia trees for water holding. An oath given is an oath due. I am not here to escape domestic dissatisfaction, but to address it. Our nation has lost its pride. But pride can be restored. This place, Trelawney, is the site of my father's great naval victory over our rivals, La Corona. We were the victors here at Trelawney, yet all the spoils remain in the lap of Poseidon. The scepter of Capon has long granted its bearers indisputable authority, but it sank to the depths, along with La Corona's fleet. I can still smell father's victory here at Trelawney. It is his greatest legacy. Finding the sunken scepter of Capon, the trophy we never claimed for that victory, will remind us of our past glories and restore the people's faith in their monarch. We shall build a new capital of the realm here, perhaps call it Crown Falls, in view of the sparkling cataracts you see the island possesses. This may be my greatest legacy. Help me build it, and find the scepter. And I shall designate you Warden of Trelawney, my official representative in these waters. A humble outpost now, perhaps, but it promises to become the largest capital of my empire. Awaiting new horizons. A desert hut no longer. Water flows, life bathing, and tempest quiet. A miracle. We exist, however we may. How we celebrate. The Wasi of Pa Itaru must be repaired. It is thus forlorn and poorly. Ready for a challenge. Back already? You have done much in little time. With water, water. Waha can surely now manage for themselves. I didn't expect you back so I didn't expect you. Festivals. More expenses. Time we made higher plans for Wahadesha. Excavators appear ill fit. That will have to do for the task at hand. At last, the excavation can commence. Lord, look favorably upon us. Work will start presently. We are thankful for your help, ever stalwart. Ruins must be cleared to make way for the irrigation system. Doubtless the inhabitants will complain, but it must be done.
party. The season for mercy yet. I beg of you, Shema. These are not ruins. They are our hearts, our history. There must be some other way. I don't think. Bahadesha has few resources. Wood and brick will be needed for the canals. Ready for assignment. We have much to share, I think. My son Can warns you me you've a knack for buttering. Ready for a challenge. Lit. Let Leonine flame herald a new age for Inbesa. The ancient baths are. Coordinates plotted. Ah, what can bring a people together better than bathing blissfully together? The underwear! The underwear! The goods! They are singing! It is a miracle. A blessing. Singing goats. Did you drink too much Tej? So he has finally come, or been sent. It was but a matter of time. Maintain the position Her Majesty set out in her letter. Use any means at hand to achieve the necessary result. A personal failure would be unacceptable. I swore to myself I'd never return. Swore it! But how... you? And wh why are you here? Ah, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, Her Majesty has no qualms with free traders. But please, no politicking here. For the crown has a vested interest in Inbeza. Let it not be said a guest was made to feel unwelcome in Inbeza, regardless of his bearing. Let him settle, so long as it is not on our land. We shall refrain for the time being and observe. Tell no one I said so, but... I've heard court musicians less talented than these wonderful creatures. And uh, you kept a perfect bleat. <laughs> but I'm afraid now we really must get back to work. The elders have been clamoring for a place to partake in the holy and elders constitute. It was only a man told you know. Thank you kindly. Pump. You know, Wahadesha still has untenanted land Just say the word. that could be used to produce much of what Taborim needs. Wahadeshan ceramics used to be famous. See that they are produced once more. We assist however we may. I think I will invite them to the dance. A bold new expedition, Admiral. And you can miss 
seed? Sowing new seeds, I think. Oh, it. Ah, a familiar face. Splendid. Come now, take me to this Katima. We have much to discuss. He should know of me already. A meeting? Wahadesha is a haven of peace. A place of quiet. Aye. No industry should mar the baited stillness of a garden. Grow indigo. No banquet hall is complete if not suitably tapestry. There must be dishes aplenty. Let Sir Blake know the bounty of Mbesa. Wahadeshan cloth was also renowned. Mbesans will soon don raiment worthy of kings. I could simply go to press. It can only do them good, I'm sure. Wahadesha survives, but in what form? How much soul loss, merely for our bodies to live on? Stations! Stations! Ready then? for a challenge. Good and ready. The sun swell up. The water now needs but a nudge of the hand and a bountiful flood will flow forth. Wahadesha, an oasis once more. A place of beauty, growth, and trade. All Enbesa will turn to it as the future and dream. We turned to you for help and got iron chain and industry in return. Wahadesha survives as a broken land, a soulless people. Tell your emperor he has won. Not all change is an evil. With your help, Wahadesha can play a part in bringing in Bessa a brighter future. The laborers strike a hard surface. Breaking new horizons. Fragments of lost history at last. Quite a store of history hidden here. Our predecessors in the Golden Age saw that Kidusi Anitoni's purpose was not to produce goods, but wisdom. Aye. The excavation can resume, but do inspect the statue. It may inspire you to write your chronicle. On our way. I suspected there was more to this project than they let on. I sense underhanded ambitions to support their independence. I wasn't there when they pulled it out. I was staring longingly at the picture you gave me. I wanted a look, but they told me a priestess was examining it. When I returned from my break, the stone was back in the earth.
I knew it. Must have thought poor Wahadesha folk would not notice. But we are wise in the old law. You have to confront them. Now for the final note. I expected nothing more from one of Ketema's hounds. This affair is no longer yours to command. Just say the word. Expected better than common forgery from priests. Evidently, it is time they were brought back into the fold and learned humility. Deliver this deep lying in the face of an emperor is crime enough, but lying before the Almighty. Awaiting new horizons. Kidusi is no longer the holy place it was. Let all know they are exiled and their trade banned henceforth. I thought I saw a gleam in your eye. An imperial decree? A stubborn old goat. Well, we shan't be cowed. Hidusi stands for truth, whatever truth. At last, our magnum opus is complete. There it is. These chronicles herald a new golden age. The age of lions, the triumph. Your own poets may soon sing the splendors of Enbesa. So what shall it be? The lone and level sands stretch far away. Steers, but what is beyond the sands? And what pale walls and statues still stand? What king caught in the glory of his... Unfile the sail! I trust you will see it done. Ugh, what a bore. We have made great progress here, but let us review what material we have before moving on.
have tested. Your ship has returned from its voyage. 